there is an audience for this film, and I think that uh, people don't really seem to understand that like women are a big audience. <laughs> so. Absolutely, and we'll definitely provide all the links to all those sites, the Twitter and the Facebook, and your fabulous website, which is so cute. I loved it. Um, I wrote a companion journal to the movie. Oh, that's really cute. What I loved is that I saw that there was an opera entry about how she went to an opera and then she actually liked it, which is surprising, and I thought that was really cute because that's, <laughs> that's something... That moment in the shower where you're, like, singing to opera and stuff... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while because now I'm like uber sensitive to everything I listen to. But um, but yeah, what I loved about the movie in general was just that, you know, there was such a strong idea behind it. There was such a strong lesson. But at the same time, it was I found myself laughing through the whole movie. And how did you guys come up with, I don't know who it was that came up with this, but who, who came up with all the little funny comedic details? I mean, down to the yuppic culture and you know having that theme run through the whole film how did that come about that was so cool I think that came about through the various drafts of the script and also doing the short and working with the same director of photography and production designer so we really understood the world that we were trying to create and committed fully and uh, for some of the stuff like I believe all all uh, writing comes from emotional truths for me so uh, the toilet paper specifically, I think my aunt told my little sister to write my name on a piece of toilet paper, wife and flush, when I was maybe 13. So it's so mean. <laughs> that really stuck with me. And it, it's like a really clever idea because, you know, different, hopefully the film will inspire like kids and adults to find creative ways to like let out their frustrations and anxieties and um, yeah. I also think our, our cast helped a lot with, with the, the comedy. Um, I remember seeing dailies and thinking, this is so much funnier than I thought it ever would be. Um, so props to our cast. They committed <laughs> so fully. The, all those actors, I love them. And they really um, were living in this world and embodied these characters and brought them to life. And, together we were able to really color stuff and create nuance within those performances so that you're laughing and that laughter comes from an a, like honest place as opposed to laughing at them you're laughing with them they were so talented all of the actors they were so young you know and they did a fantastic performance every single one of them what was the most meaningful part of the movie what, what is what was the you know comedy aside what did, what does the film mean to you to each of you meaningful I'm stealing your <laughs> thunder uh, the most meaningful uh, part of the movie for me right now is seeing how it affects kids and hearing different parents tell me that their kids are writing to Lemon Lima so I've had like different parents say my nine-year-old kid is writing to Lemon Lima so that is the most gratifying part because I've created the work I think we've created right. the work for an audience and to have an impact and create some sort of social change and inspire people to practice love and kindness and I think everyone walking out of that theater was feeling a little bit like invigorated yeah, and like lifted. ready to see the world in a different way with like more love and like faith and art and humanity yeah I mean I think Susie's right um, there's something really gratifying about making a film that has a message and you know, makes people feel good when they when they walk out of there. So, so what's next for the two of you? I know I'm definitely looking forward to what you're working on next. Are you, do you have any projects in the works, or are you just trying to promote this for now? We have so many. We have so many. <laughs> <laughs> the two of us are working on a horror script together, Ooh. which is a little different from Lemon Lima, but uh. <laughs> but it's set in Japan, and it has like it kind of plays on Kawaii, which is like Japanese super cute. So it takes like a super cuteness and puts it in a very a very dark spin on that. But also, um, I have hopefully we'll be working on all these projects. But I have a, a irreverent holiday film, which is about how Saint Satan came up with Santa to piss off Jesus. And so uh, Nicholas was a drunk that Jesus that Satan found at a bar, and 
sold his soul. And so Satan, <laughs> I keep confusing Satan and Santa because they sound so similar, which is kind of part, part of where the writer came up with this idea is because he was like, it, the letters are so similar. But, um, but Santa comes together with Mr. Easter Bunny to reclaim the spirit of the holidays because he wants to be more like Jesus. Wow, it seems like... <laughs> A twist on everything that's ever been written about that kind of stuff. That's so cool. It's definitely new. <laughs> that's really fun. I think if it's doused with a bunch of like sweetness and wholeheartedness and love, so you just like love Santa and you even love Satan. <laughs> like, you know, I, I feel like all these characters, especially like in Lemon Lima, the thing about all those characters is they are approached so that you love all of them. There is no Philip even, like, he's not a bad guy. He's just thinks he's always right. So um, I think with the Satan Santa film, it will be the same thing where the characters are just really fleshed out and have a lot of color to them. And what are you working on? Any, is that, are you guys working on that together or are you working on something else also or? Those are kind of my projects as well. <laughs> oh, they sound huge. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> Just sticking together. Yeah. It's nice to be surrounded by women and work with women and to work with the same people because they really, we have a creative shorthand. Mm -hmm. And like, I know, I don't know, I feel like we have a really great creative relationship and inspire people, inspire each other to like, push ourselves yeah. further like we're writing the horror script together and it's just been such a great process because we have each other to fall back on when we reach those uh, roadblocks in the script that's so great I mean the film is evidence of the fact that you guys can and should always work together because it's a fantastic fantastic achievement um, and I just have a final question it's kind of a general question um, just because we're doing you know our blog covers various different arts and I'm just wondering what do you think film what, what do you think sets apart film as a medium for, for communicating ideas? What's special about film? Do you guys have any thoughts on that? Well, I, feel like, uh, I feel like film reaches the widest audience and can transcend cultural boundaries and barriers. So, and also you're able to use all of these different artistic mediums, whether it's music or art or... Um, or color or composition, like it's just really all of these uh, different artistic uh, methods brought together. And it's also sort of like the ultimate form of collaboration, which is also great because it requires so many people's hands in it. So. That's really beautifully put. <laughs> it is, because it is the ultimate right? form of collaboration right. with different creatives right. and people and so much about communication and right. that was really eloquent Jonica oh, I love Susie. you <laughs> well thank you so much both of you for taking the time to talk to me today and um, I hope our viewers will get many opportunities to see your film because it should be seen and yeah thanks so much I hope to talk to you again sometime <laughs>